Welcome to the first tutorial of the Sentinel-1 Toolbox. Although the Toolbox will fully support ESA's Sentinel-1 mission, it will also support most other satellite-based SAR missions from Level 1 and above. For those of you familiar with NEST, the Sentinel-1 Toolbox is the next evolution of NEST and completely replaces all of its functionality. The toolbox comes with tools for calibration, speckle filtering, terrain correction, mosaicing, polymetry, interferometry, and classification. When you start the software application, you'll see the main workspace and several toolbars and tab tool view windows. Here we see the products view where you will see open data products and the whirlwind globe where you see the products footprint. Other useful tools, which I'll show more later, are the Graph Builder and the Product Library. Now and open up a data product. So we go to the toolbar, click on Open. And here we have a, uh, an EW Sentinel-1 data product. Um, it's zipped. We can click on the zip file and open it up directly. Now in the Products view, we have here the, uh, the product that we've opened. In the world view here, we have the, uh, the footprint. It's over Gibraltar. We can zoom in using the mouse wheel. And identification, we see some information on it, the acquisition date, and the type. This is a ground range detected product. The bands in the product, we have two polarizations, HH and HV. And then there's just the amplitude and intensity bands for each of those. If we click on one of these bands, open it up. So here we see the, uh, the, the amplitude band for the product. We can click on here the, uh, the pan button. So we can click and drag, pan around on the image, use the mouse wheel, zoom in. And you'll see that Right away, um, you may notice that the, the image is actually flipped here because this is in the SAR geometry. It's not um, in a, a map projected uh, uh, geometry. So uh, what we see here is uh, as it's acquired, in this case, descending image. And so it's, it's scanning and uh, acquiring the image from the right side descending. So in this image, we're seeing the Atlantic Ocean. The Mediterranean Sea, which is uh, Gibraltar, and Tangiers. And if we zoom in here, we see these little dots here everywhere. These are ships. Another interesting thing about this product is because it's a extended wide swath uh, Topsar product from Sentinel-1, you can see the, uh, the subswats here. Uh, an EW product will have five subswats. And this is why you see this, this pattern here at the top and at the bottom. Let's start processing this data by running the calibration on it. So we'll go to radiometric, calibrate. And here we have the, uh, the calibration dialog with the source product. This is the target product where it's going to be written to and the format that it's going to be writing. Here in the pr processing parameters, so we can select uh, just a single polarization and we'll produce the sigma naught and. Okay, let me close this. Open up, we have a new product here with just the uh, sigma naught HH. Open this up. Now we have the, uh, the backscatter for each of the pixels. And 
you can see here these mountains. They don't quite look like mountains, and this is because of the uh, the SAR geometry. Things are required on a, a slant. Let's apply the terrain correction so we can see the image as it would be normal. So we go to SAR processing, geometric, terrain correction, and apply the range Doppler terrain correction. So here again we have the uh, the source product is going to be the product we just calibrated and the output is going to have a new extension added to the name uh, we had before the calibration, now the terrain correction. And here we have a lot of uh, parameters to enter but mostly you can just use the, the defaults. It's uh, going to use the SRTM 3 second and it's going to automatically download the tiles it needs to, uh, to process this. And then you have the interpolation methods of the uh, the dem and the image, uh, the output pixel spacing, and the map projection that's going to be used. In this case here, it's just the Latlon uh, WGS84 uh, map projection. And the output bands that you want to output here, we're just going to output the selected source band. Okay, and hit run. Okay, let's open up our terrain corrected product. And as you can see here, now we have everything flipped the proper way. And the mountains are looking a little bit better. And everything that didn't have a, an elevation uh, in the ocean here. Um, has been become no data value. Now we can say that the image has been geocoded and we can uh, now assume that all the, uh, the pixels are in the right place.